In Airbus, it's not only about uh, planes and uh, helicopters. And uh, the intelligence business is basically all uh, the satellite imagery and uh, all decision-making uh, solutions. It's actually really a mix between uh, having the best satellites in the world, getting the best images you can, uh, you can imagine, and just from our sensors, the mass of information we get is actually uh, it's exponential. The, the key currently is really to be able to treat this mass of information. The satellite is only one part of the sensors. You have to mix this with drones, with the airborne sensors, with all kind of inputs you can get, and then you get something which is really meaningful. We have 10 satellites which are actually used by us, radar satellites and optical satellites. Uh, we have also a mix in terms of uh, resolution uh, because our customers are asking uh, very different things depending on the application. The beauty in our business is that we don't only deliver data or images. Uh, we have to work with our customers and with our partners uh, to define how can we actually make the decision-making process easier for them. So IPF is uh, actually an index we have developed uh, together with insurance and governmental bodies to make sure there's a way to insure farmers on their grass production and in case of issues and reduction of yield to be able to pay them through the insurance in a very precise and secure way. Pastures are highly exposed to climate variations and mainly drought. To insure pasture, it was just impossible in the past because uh, traditional insurance techniques and methods are not relevant. That was a challenge. That's why we have developed with Airbus an alternative method and satellite application to estimate as precisely as possible the lack of production on the fields. Working with Airbus was a long journey of five years of research and development. We had many scientific validation protocols and um, also scientific publications. Uh, we managed the match satellite versus mower to prove the correlation between the index and the real production in the field. Last year, for example, more than 40% of the farms were affected by climate disaster. It was a particularly loud year in terms of uh, claims. By outsourcing the risk, a farmer can focus on his real business and then it increases competitiveness. Starling is our latest application uh, which has been developed together with the agro-industry uh, to actually track on a regular basis uh, deforestation around the world. This helps to protect the forest against uncontrolled uh, growth uh, of agriculture. This is very important, for instance, uh, in the case of palm oil, uh, where various uh, scandals have shown that uh, you need to track what happens. So as you know, uh, deforestation from tropical area is one of the major problems specifically linked to global warming. So Nestle is committed to zero deforestation objective by 2020. So we are very much uh, interested to know exactly where the raw materials are coming from and whether it has connection with deforestation. So we selected rather big area in Malaysia where some of our suppliers of palm oil were present on the ground and the, the satellite imagery were done and are regularly renewed. New pictures taken from the space and radar uh, data and that is processed by the Airbus team so that we can use it in a way that we can see how the area of potential deforestation are progressing or not. And this data is very useful for us to see if our commitment are met by the suppliers and if not, we, we have the data and the possibility to go back to the suppliers and tell them that there is a gap between the kind of commitment we've agreed with them and what we are observing in reality. So it's very practical and it's a different way of engaging with suppliers to be able to meet our global commitment of no deforestation. Marine applications is uh, one of our largest growth uh, fields these days. Uh, this is related to a service which provides information on maritime routes uh, where we can track what happens, what are the ships, uh, where they are moving, how can we help to increase safety, uh, both for institutional customers but also for private uh, maritime customers. 
On the 13th of March 2017, the Aris 13 was hijacked and um, immediately the pirates turned the AIS off, so the vessel's location was lost. So immediately we phoned Airbus and said, hey guys, this is the last AIS location, what can you do to help? So they programmed the Pallides satellites and did a sweep and this is where their analysts did some great work of, of looking at all of the vessel's characteristics, length, width and, and came up with some possibilities and then with further analysis we were able to absolutely guarantee the location which immediately was shared with the military. And it was significant because as a French Navy frigate, the Corbett, which was nearby, was able to give medical assistance to the crew and actually then escorted the vessel when the hostages were released to Pasasso port. So it just gives you a really simple example of Airbus's can-do attitude with the Earth observation satellite imagery. A quick response to a simple request and then sweating it, actually working the data uh, to actually help um, everyone, in this case, reach a, a successful outcome. Today we have already uh, capacity to get various images in the same day. However, we need to go to the next step, and this is why uh, we invest now in the first batch of four satellites, which will provide a much, much better revisit. I really love the product and what we are doing here. All the applications are interesting in some way, and I'm sure we can do much more. The impact for us, population as people citizens is very high and visible and it makes me smile every morning I come to uh, I come to work.